Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, we got an emergency on our hands. We got an emergency over here on our hands in terms of this crochet hair. Now today's video, as you saw from the title, I'm going to be revitalizing this only two week old crochet hair to take it from what it is right now, which I'm really hoping the camera is picking up the struggles, the trials, the tribulations that this hair is going through, but I'm going to do a turnaround so you can see this hair. Now this hair is the Rasta Free Twist Out Curl Hair. I should already have my install video up as we speak, so I'll link that up above. The review isn't up because I still got this hair in right now. But I've had this hair in for two weeks, and if you watch my Key West vlog, I got this hair wet. I got this hair wet uh, about a week ago, got this hair wet and didn't really take care of it after the fact. I know, I know, don't don't yell at me through this. I, I feel the judgment coming through, but I didn't take care of it because I came back from my trip and I didn't put a buffer day in. Typically when I come back from a vacation, I put a buffer day in. No, I came back Monday, went back to work Tuesday and it's been a crazy rest of the week. So it is the weekend now and I'm finally taking some time to do something to this hair. I mean, I've done nothing to this hair. When I was in Key West, after I got my hair drenched, soaked with that ocean water, I did notice my hair did smell salty. So I did at least run some water through it when I got back to the hotel room. Gotta get that sand out, had to get some of that seaweedy smell out of my hair. So I did do that, but that's all I've done in the last week. And so my hair has not thanked me for it. You see all this elaborate level of frizz coming off the top? You pull one strand, you pull one strand, Multiples come up. You don't even let me pull the back, child. You pull the back, the whole thing wanna pop up. This hair is not detangled. This hair is the definition of all tangled. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna try to revitalize. I'm gonna try to rehab this hair. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash it with shampoo. I do have my Trader Joe's Tea Tingle shampoo. I hope I have enough. I used quite a bit already for my last two styles. I overdo it with shampoo, I know it, but this is the shampoo I'm gonna use from Trader Joe's as well as the Giovanni Deeper Moisture Conditioner, smooth as silk conditioner. So this is the conditioner I'm gonna be using on my hair. So once I do that, I'm gonna do that on camera so you guys can see me wash this hair again, two weeks old. You know, bottom doesn't look bad, but after I wash it, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a few things. I'm gonna use the Talia Wajid Protective Styles Bamboo Growth Oil to put some oil between my scalp. I'm gonna use uh, this Rasta Free Creamy Rejuvenator that I bought. I bought from GMBS Hair a while ago because it's supposed to rejuvenate your curly crochet hair. I'm gonna see if it actually works. I bought this a while ago. The consistency of it is like kind of a, like a lotion-y type consistency. Um, so it gives you directions on how to apply. I'll apply that after I wash, condition, uh, blow dry my actual hair. You'll see me blow dry my actual hair. People ask me, do I blow dry this? This can actually air dry, especially here in North Carolina as we're 90 degrees. Crochet hair can air dry. Between the braids, your hair up under the crochet hair is what really needs the actual dryer to hit it. And then after all that is done, I will go in with this serum rejuvenator as well. You're supposed to apply this to wet or dry hair. So I wonder if I apply it before the creamy rejuvenator. You'll see the steps and statuses that I choose to take on this. Done rambling, intro done. Let's get into me actually washing this hair and taking it to another level. It's very dry right now too. I hope this rejuvenator gives it a level of softness to it because right now it's not feeling too good. But you guys will see how I do the whole process right now. So you saw at the start of this video the shampoo and conditioner I am using. No, I am not saying in this video you have to run out and go buy this shampoo and conditioner. It is literally just what I have on hand and I do like the Trader Joe's shampoo and I also like this Giovanni deep conditioner but what I will say you need is a microfiber towel now you guys know I love this for dealing with my natural hair I love it even more for my synthetic hair do not use your regular bath towels you need a microfiber towel especially since this is synthetic hair so starting this process like I normally do I normally start before putting shampoo on with just running water through my hair again focusing more so on my actual hair because that's always always what I care more about throughout this process is my own natural hair I'm going to just run water through and just rub out any residue that might be in my hair from the last week 
Now I'm going in with that shampoo, focusing it again on my actual hair. So I'm separating my hair out as best I can. In between each braid, I'm putting some of this shampoo in, massaging it in, and then gonna rinse it out. Again, I'm focusing it on my actual hair. These products that I'm using, both the Trader Joe shampoo and Giovanni conditioner is made for hair. So it's not made for synthetic hair, which is fibers. It's made for hair. So I'm applying it to my hair. The focus of this is to restore my hair up under this because again, I was in salt water and in chlorine water. So after I thoroughly wash out the shampoo, I move on and apply the conditioner in the sack same way that I was applying the shampoo, focusing it more on my actual hair than the crochet hair. Now the crochet hair is getting some of the product on it just by happenstance and it does help in rinsing out some of those scents, but I'm not wasting my good made for hair conditioner on no synthetic hair. No ma'am, it's not made for synthetic hair. This product was not made for synthetic hair, so therefore there's no real need to run your shampoo and conditioner through that. You want to focus on maintaining your own actual hair up underneath and by happenstance you're wetting and getting some of that product and rinsing some of those scents out of the crochet hair through the process. While I let the conditioner sit, I'm gonna actually take a shower so you can't see that part. Um, but then after I take my shower, I will rinse out the conditioner in the same way I rinsed out the shampoo and then I'll just dry my hair with that microfiber towel initially. So next, I go in with my hand dryer and I focus it on my actual hair. So I always, 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 if I ever wash my hair, I always go in with a hand dryer to hand dry my real hair. That's what I do. I do not let my own hair air dry because that's how your hair can sometimes smell mildewy. You know, after I get my hair wet, I go in with a hand dryer to dry my actual hair. The crochet hair itself can air dry. In fact, it's better off air drying. It causes more frizz if you use a hand dryer on it. It dries within minutes. Crochet hair is very fast drying. That is why I always do my vacation and beach friendly options and it surrounds crochet hair because crochet hair is really awesome for your water and beach situations. However, you do have to worry about your hair up underneath. So just separate your hair up under and just go in with that dryer, focusing in between those braids and letting it dry. This will take, depends on, you know, kind of your hair, how thin your braids are, all that. But I'd say anywhere between, I don't know, 15 and 20 minutes. JPB, it's only right, baby. Yeah. Now, after my own hair is 100% dry, I say the crochet hair on this air drying is about 70% dry, which is really good considering I didn't, you know, sit under a dryer for it. I'm gonna go in with this Rasta Free Serum Rejuvenator, which says that you can use it on wet or dry hair. Now, this is my first time using this product. I've purchased every single product you're gonna see in today's video with my own coinage. It's my first time using this product and the instructions purely say just apply it to the hair wet or dry and kind of separate it out. Now, I don't know if you can see this product, but it's like clear. I'm trying to get it as best as I can in camera, but it's like super clear, very runny, very clear, very serum-y um, as one would say. So that is the consistency of this product. I'm going to literally go curl by curl, run some of the product through the crochet hair and then separate the hair out because as you saw, it's pretty tangly. So I'm detangling the hair while applying the serum rejuvenated product now as you guys will see at the end i'll talk more about it i don't know if this product worked or didn't work maybe i need to try it again under a different circumstance i, I didn't see any big benefits of this product but when i come back later with that creamy rejuvenator i do think that did a little bit more so this serum rejuvenator i can't really say um i did apply it to wet hair maybe trying it with a little bit more of a drier hair might have a different impact but again just going to go through my whole head with that serum rejuvenator separating and detangling the hair out because this hair was a tangled mess before While I'm doing this too, I'm cutting out any mats, tangles, frizz. This is the time to do it now. So as I go through, you're gonna see some scissors through. I know it may look like I'm being rough to the hair. That's what you gotta do when you're detangling this hair, especially after the week it's been through. Let's go. 
but I'm so stuck. That's a fact, yo. And if you think I'm running, you can run it back, yo. Go on, run it back. You know that I run it. Everything you wanna do, I already done it. And I got your little boo telling me she love me. I got this one. I should have done this immediately after I blow dry my hair, but I completely forgot. But I remembered after applying that serum, going in with that Talia YG Protective Styles Growth Oil. I'm going in between my braids and I'm just applying it using that little nozzle. That's why I like nozzle oils because it's really effective in getting between those braids. I told Shorty drop it for a real one. Go ahead and pop it, let me feel some. Now, after I get done applying that Talia YG oil to my edges, I notice my hair, it's its looking good. It's detangled, but it is a little bit dry. So I let my hair air dry to 100% while beating my face, as you can see. And I come back in and apply that Creamy Rejuvenator by Rasta Free. Now, this product says it's mainly for dry hair. So I'm going to rake this product through my hair, not fully having to detangle my hair because again i just detangled it with that serum so just we a wee bit you know nothing wrong with a little bit more detangling but it's more about running this product through now this product did add a little bit of oomph back to the hair now the rejuvenator didn't which i could have probably gone in with braid chain spray and that probably would have gave it the the juices it needed but why not use the new products that i got this rejuvenator did rejuvenate the hair in a way the serum did not so just running that product through and it felt very lotiony i'd say and the way the serum felt like a serum just felt very moisturizing that's not a word i'm making up words here but again really did like this product over the serum so process complete process done and this is how the hair is looking let me do a turn around so you guys can get up all up into this thing. Let me just show y'all how this looking. Your girl feels back and better than ever. This was a true revitalization of my hair this last week. Me and my hair ain't been getting along. My hair done had some beef with me, um, but now I'm back better than ever. The hair feels so good so good got the tangles out got the kinks out matting frizz all that so walking you through my process shampoo traditional shampoo really concentrating on my real hair also that conditioner same thing can concentrating it on my real hair if you feel like well how are you gonna concentrate it on your real hair you're not gonna get any of the scents out the water's running through it I mean the water and shampoo are running through the hair then moving on love my bamboo oil for my scalp it makes my scalp feel all tingly and clean now in terms of this product this was new for me the serum rejuvenator now i didn't see a huge benefit of this now i did apply it while my hair was wet so once the hair dried it still felt as dry as it was before if that makes sense so this does say to use it on wet or dry hair and it can be used on daily use so I'd be interested to see maybe if I use it on a different hair for a different use dry hair every day type of thing what this would be really used for but what I did love whoo I'm gonna buy some more of this <laughs> like I'm about to buy me a couple of jars of this to keep on hand this creamy rejuvenator that's what makes my hair now feel so buttery it feels so good now again swam in both a chlorine pool and the ocean while i was in key west so hair was sucked dry honey the salts were harsh there is a difference between washing your hair in a bath like in a shower like if you're a very active person and you take showers right after your workout and you wash your crochet hair that's different than getting your hair wet in a pool or a definitely salty salty ocean type of a vibe so your hair is going to be dry to the umpteenth degree i think this makes my hair it, it really revitalized it back to if not better than day one uh so yes this was me revitalizing my two week old rasta free twist out curl hair that i had gotten super uber wet over the last week if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up even if you didn't enjoy it why would you not give it a big thumbs up i went through a whole process for you this overall process took me 
roughly has it been even three hours maybe like two hours 30 again crochet hair dries super quick so this is not a long process for me if anyways for me and what the end result is it's still pre-noon right now i could still go on about the rest of my day so if you overall appreciate the process give it a big thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed don't want to not be subscribed and you don't want to not turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any other video that I produce over here on this channel for you and make sure you're following me on Instagram at leelavon89 so you can keep up with my shenanigans in real time and we hope to see you in our next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.